So how do you feel like the program has really helped you in your business specifically? Because I know you said you came in for um, your personal growth and your person, your emotional triggers and wounds, but you also wanted to better your business. So how did that change? So um, once again, um, the way my triggers are changed, I mean, not even that, but the way the program has helped me in my business, I can say I learned how to um, really communicate better with people from different aspects of life. When I kind of mm-hmm. saw the way you were pretty general with a lot of people with it, it kind of helped me see, kind of gave me an example of how to basically um, tend to a lot of clients for number one. Um, Cause I, I, I was telling my friends the other day, like, yeah, I got a mentor. I don't really know if Ari knows she's my mentor, but she is. Like a lot of stuff that, for real, like a lot of stuff that you do, not necessarily I replicate it, but it kind of gives me insight and it gives me ideas of how I can better my business too. But the self-love prescription program um, itself, how it helped me, it just basically helped me love myself more and be confident in myself so mm-hmm. that pe- other people, that basically so that I can accept accept the confidence that other people was trying to give me. It's kind of like other people believed in me more than I did. Mm-hmm. So the program helped me see the positivity and the um, the motivation that I give off to people, I guess. Because like beforehand, I would just be like, I mean, yeah, I work out or whatever. Like, yeah. But once I got into the program, I kind of like broke down the characteristics of myself. I broke down, you know, like my uh, vision, number one, the mm-hmm. first like a couple weeks and stuff yeah I broke down my vision and it's like wow I do a lot of stuff that I want to do in my vision I just need to basically put my head down and focus harder on it it's kind of like I was doing a lot of stuff that I wanted to be successful but I wasn't um putting 100 percent in it because I didn't think I could it's like I didn't I didn't really think like I'm not that trainer but I could be that trainer so Mm -hmm. it gave me more confidence for sure yeah and confidence is what sells i remember my first business coach said that like confidence is what sells if you people can feel when you're not confident and they're not gonna want to you know buy from you or use your services or whatever the case is um because they want to be able to see that that professionalism Mm -hmm. that confidence that gentleness you know that love within you and i think that a lot of the times we don't notice i didn't notice it and i don't know if a lot of people say this um, but my first business coach was a yoga teacher as well. So he used to be dropping some spiritual mm-hmm. spiritual gems in there too. And he would always say your personal development is directly, your business development is directly proportional with your personal development. So if you are stuck personally, then your business will be stagnant as well. And, um, and a lot of things come up when we're running a business. A lot of our insecurities and, and wounds from our past and doubts and things like that come up during the, um, the time that you're trying to run this business because you're doing something that not normally people usually do. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought she was stuck. So, yeah. Um, and that's why I think it is really important to, like, work on personal development when you are trying to start a business instead of just working on strategies and stuff like that because strategies are important but they will come they will definitely come when you are you know have your spiritual practices integrated into that as well so you're growing personally you're helping your business grow and then you just attract the opportunity that's going to help you in multiple areas of your life so mm-hmm. yeah i'm glad that you were able to get that so what do you feel like is your biggest takeaway from being in the program my biggest takeaway um i feel like this is cliche but i really honestly feel like ari my biggest takeaway i'm getting a little emotional is to really just love yourself like it's a little cliche but my biggest takeaway is to really um an aspect of life i feel like it's not too many things that really are hard to do but for some reason loving ourselves is hard to do sometimes Mm -hmm. and it it, this program showed me how easy it can be and how fulfilling it can be and how rewarding it can be to love yourself so my biggest takeaway was that um 
from this program if you do put time into yourself then the universe will bring that time right back to you mm -hmm. and what you get what you put into the world is what you're really going to get out you know i learned that because all the type of things that you told me to practice is like i practiced it and i would see like results like good results so it's like man if i just took a little bit of time every day just 30 minutes every day because I, one thing I did notice is that when I wasn't taking my morning routines or my nightly routines, it would literally throw off my whole day because I forgot about my, myself. Mm -hmm. So it was like, sometimes I would literally just be like, self-love, you know, just come on. Even because some people think like self-love means like really just hugging yourself or like, you know, <laughs> sitting at home. No, self-love could be like me drinking a whole bottle of this water. Self-love, mm -hmm. I was going to post that in the prescription program today man i didn't know that self-love was really me putting on my shea butter every morning looking in the mirror and watching myself glow that was self-love to me and i didn't even notice it mm -hmm. you know so my biggest takeaway again was just to remember to um put yourself first because once you put yourself first everything else is gonna fall in line mm -hmm. if you put yourself on a back burner and then you try to put your boyfriend up here or you know your best friend up here or your boss up mm -hmm. here your life isn't going to be balanced. But if you're always up top, everything else is going to fall in line. You know, if you're happy, your life is going to be happy. Mm -hmm. So my biggest takeaway was just continue was just to make sure that I don't forget about Shakia. Don't mm -hmm. forget about yourself. Mm -hmm. And 